Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Uh, hello again everyone, welcome back, day, I think it's, is it day 45, or is it 44? I'm gonna check before I start my timer. It's day 45! Smooth as anything. We are off to do our herbs and herbs as usual, before anything else. Today, if the episode seems like it's a bit of a longer gap between the previous one, I apologise. But do not worry, I am still just as hopelessly addicted to RuneScape. I got up at like 1am yesterday, and then stayed up till 10pm to watch the DMM finals and GG when it came out afterwards. So, I was up really long, and then I slept till like 3pm. Well, it's half 2 right now, so 2pm today. Barely woke up yet, realised I needed to record. So today I'm having kind of a chill day. I kind of needed it anyway after three days of constant anxiety in the agility arena. The wilderness agility course even. I was going to do the fire making and crafting today. That was my thought. To get myself up for Beneath Curse Sands. But I figure I've got more melee training to do. And sorry, always just takes me a minute to get going. Frozen. Okay, so I thought I was going to do the fire making today, but I figure I've only got one day of the fire making and crafting to do, and I've got multiple days of melee training left to do, so I should do a day or two of melee and then swap over to break it up a little bit better to do the skilling end of a time, because I want to get to at least 70 before I do TOA anyway. So if I'm not 70 yet, then I don't need to unlock it. Just give me an opportunity to break up the grind a little more. So today, I'm going to go to the Sulphurs again. It's been a while since we've been there, but we're going to go back on over with our trusty Sulphur Blades. And we're just going to chill there for the day. A nice casual training session. I'm not going to be too hard on myself with the Alks. I do want to try and be as efficient as I can. But at the end of the day, I'm fucking knackered right now. I've barely woken up. I just want to chill and play some RuneScape. So I'm just going to chill and play some RuneScape. I might end up rolling a spliff in the middle AFK. And who knows? Nice lovely 12 hole there. Should have brought my darts too. Ooh, do we actually need more days of Renars as well? We didn't have any offers in. So I should put an offer in really and lower these because they still haven't sold. Price at the minute is 24.9 so it's going down a little bit again. I'll probably just buy six in case it goes down further. No, I have nothing to alk. Okay, I can't alk a coin apparently. I mean, I could alk an air rune, but it's going to lose me money. This isn't DMM. I'm going to run the farming calculator on the sly while I'm doing this. See if I can figure out if there's a better option than Renar Seeds at the minute. Avento. Avento is currently on top. I should just buy some Avento then. Because Renar's like way down in the list at the minute. Because Avento is the one that I got to level 50 in case I ever needed... A higher level because Renars were a bad price, and that's exactly what's happened now. Avatar's back on top. We're gonna do that. What do you mean with Avento? Why do people want them? I guess super attacks, but. No, wait, Avento super energy. Okay, that makes sense. Yay, yeah, 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 yeah. our staminas. People always want staminas. The seeds are a lot cheaper as well, so it'll be less expenditure. And right now, the profit per run's better. Doesn't mean it'll stay better, but it'll still stay decent enough. Right, let's just grab any nests we might have. And in fact, I think, do we have more stuff from Miscellanea as well? 
We might have more herbs. Yeah, we do. We'll have mahogany too. We caught an Aventur seed right there. Speak of the devil. Steel plate bodies. Damn, that's have really gone down. That is rough. I really want to put them in lower than that. Oh dear, things are not selling. Okay, that'll have to do for now. We've got 500k worth of cells in the GE. I do need to get an offer on some Aventur seeds before I go. But I don't want to spend too long here mucking around because it'll cut into my XP rates for what we are trying to keep track of at the Sulfanagua. And I do want to keep track of that because I need to compare it with the rates that I get at Scurrius tomorrow. Yes, today is going to be a day at the Nagua and tomorrow is going to be a day at Scurrius. And then I am going to take the XP earned for each of those days, compare them and see which truly is the better melee training option. We're as geared as we could be for each individual activity at our level with the Dragon Defender now, so it's the fairest comparison we're ever going to have. And unless it's extremely close, like if it's extremely close, I'll probably err towards Nagua because where are my obi legs? Oh, they're in my event, what am I about? <laughs> uh, because it's free to be here, whereas Scurrius we actually have to pay to be there. We have to use prayer pots and super combats and whatnot. Whereas here we don't, so... Yeah, if it's extremely close, I'll probably err towards here, as it's free. But if it's one way or the other, clearly getting us better XP rates. And I, I, if I'm honest, I think the Sulphur is going to be the best one. Especially with the extra magic XP that we're getting along the way. Because we can't do that Scurrius either, gotta be focused on our reactions and prayer more. We'll figure it out anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Scurrius is actually way better. Probably dependent on spine rate as well, but at the levels we're getting to, spines are kind of a drop in the water. It's not nice, don't get me wrong, but they're nowhere near as important as they are for a low-level account. All right, that'll do me. Ah, there's a couple three doses hanging out in here, hiding. So annoying trying to figure out which ones are full. Alright, could have probably done with a couple more potions to be honest, but is what it is. And we're on attack. Let's get over to strength, because that's what we want next. Okay, is the DDS on as well? It is. It's good. Let's just dump our specs, make sure we're getting use out of them. Lovely stuff, the worn down, and now we chill. Lovely plus 15, plus 15 boost coming off those potions because we got all the way up to 67 attack before switching back. And yeah, I didn't really mention it too much because I was kind of in a hurry to get out of here, but check out the lovely 4 mil cash stack we're currently sat on after processing our miscellaneous, doing our alks from the agility course. Like, we are pretty comfy right now, cash-wise. we still got a full 7.5 mil in miscellaneous that I topped up just yesterday, so... It's... It'll be down 75k today from what full is, but... Damn near full. Kind of in the money in a minute. I should probably think about buying some gear, actually. Because the Blood Moon pieces just keep going up. Let's have a look at the chest plate. Right now it's 3.6. This is the graph for the past three months. It has just skyrocketed. I, I think when I checked it initially, it was like here. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a sick price. We'll definitely get that. And now it's just gone above what anyone would expect. It's such a good item, that's why. Such a good item. But yeah. I think this is exactly what I needed the last, last few days, just absolutely monging out, chilling and killing. Not worried about somebody popping up to kill me, clenching constantly. I think I may be slightly hungover too. I had a drink last night, I don't drink very often at all now. But I figured it was an occasion for it with DMM and GG and I've also got a place to myself for the next week, so I'm just chilling. Seems like a good night for a drink last night. I don't feel that rough, but 
there's just something that feels different to usual. And I think that's the only thing it can be because I don't drink often enough to remember what it feels like after waking up with a drink in me. Which is actually beautiful because I used to be a raging alcoholic. And I say that with absolutely no sarcasm. Like, that's not a joke. Don't know if I brought that up before on this channel. Probably not. I think I might have lost aggro. I've barely been alking at all, I'll be honest. Yeah, we've lost aggro. But yeah, point is, my brain's moving a little slow today. That This is what I needed. I need to send some specs, man. Fully slacking. Hey! You ran through here for leashing my Nagura away from me. You know, this is a one hour limit area. It's locked down. This is my block. Oh shit, I let my prayer run out. Okay, we really are slipping today, y'all. I should have definitely brought more pots as well, because we are already like halfway through them. It's okay, we can always go restock. Today is very much a chill day. Gonna have to keep that in mind when I compare it to the scurriest numbers though, but... I think I'm at the point where I'm accepting no matter how hyper efficient I am, this is still gonna be a long ass grind to get my combat levels up. And I can't be hyper efficient the whole way because uh, I don't have that kind of mental capacity. You wanna know what my brain has room for? My brain has room for terrible runescape jokes that I've been writing to try and make a video called the Camelot Comedy Club. My brain has room for an idea I had called RuneScape Party, which is like Mario Party, but the minigames were all played in RuneScape. The main problem with that one is that I don't have any friends to play with. You want to know what my brain has room for? Not much, to be honest. It's quite empty up there. I suppose that means it does have room, actually. Maybe it's not empty. But those might be all the RuneScape ideas I have there. <laughs> I'm calling it now, this is the worst song in the RuneScape soundtrack. We may have just de again. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth going to get more potions or not. I don't think we're gonna last. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more potions. We're gonna need more. Not a lot, I'll probably just get like four or five more. I don't know why I went this way though, that was the wrong fucking way to go. Okay, that should be fine. And there's a strength level coming in. 68. Took a while, but... I think we're now in the territory of, you know, one... One level per day. It's like 62 XP to the next... 62k to the next level, so... It's quite a long way. Currently, apparently working at like 95k an hour. Hasn't been the most efficient day of training, if I'm honest. But... That just means I have to make sure I'm not too efficient tomorrow at Scurry. I have to, like, just take it easy a bit. Oh no, a day where I have to chill a bit more. Why are they so far? My aggro ran out like five minutes ago. I just can't be asked to go and reset. Really gonna be a couple more minutes anyway, and then I will get out to go and do my bird houses. I might just put an offer in for a, a blood moon chest, in case it goes any higher. I mean, who knows, it could drop and then I'll regret it, but I think I'd rather just have it on the account at this point, seeing as I'm sat here with a 4 mil stack in my invent and it costs like 3 mil at the minute. That being said, it's not going to help us to uh, 75 strength. Oh, I think we need 75 strength and defense. Let me look it up. Oh no, it's 50 defense, it's just 75 strength. But I don't think I'm going to 75 strength before I try entry level. So maybe I don't want to buy that just yet, actually. It's the same as the Serp. There's no point buying the Serpentine Helm. Because we can't wield it till 75 strength. That's uh, 75 defense even in that case. I might just get a blowpipe and a trident. Oh yeah, and we got another Pyro Sulfur Blade it's just now. How many charges does it take to fill a blowpipe? 16,000 scales, that's 2 mil. Okay, I'm not gonna fill it. We don't need to fill it. Probably just get like 1,000. Two out of three shots cost charges. Other than that, it's one for one. So that's 3,000 shots. Is that gonna be enough? It's enough to get me started, but... 
Turns out I had too many potions after all. Okay, I'm gonna do this one and then go turn in the sulfur assassins and then get out of here. Go do my bird asses. Thank you. 42 rune crafting. I honestly don't even know why I bother with that because I'm never gonna do any rune crafting. Well, I don't, I'll, I'll say why I bother with it. The honest reason. When I've done this season, this account has no more purpose. But I've still got 262 days of membership. And I don't just want to waste that. So I'm going to have to find a way to make use of it. Let me get on to my run before. Otherwise I'll run out of time. So yeah, basically I want to make use of the account's membership after... I'm finished recording the series so I think what I'm gonna do with the account after we're done with season three is just keep it and play it casually maybe like an hour a day still but not strictly and not recording and just keep this account around and build it up as a, a main account because my main account is an iron man I don't have a high level unrestricted account and as a content creator, it's kind of handy to have one because there's lots of things that people do, challenge series and all sorts. And a lot of the time, the ability to trade or use the GE is integral to participating in those sorts of challenges. So I figure it's a good idea for me to train up a higher level account. Mysterious old man gave me a present. It was a kebab. I don't think that's a mysterious old man. I think that's a drunk old man. I'm taking that jeweling ring. Hello. Six charges on a jeweling ring. Why would you drop that? Anyway, that's our hour. Our hour. Done. We had a fairly productive day, although it's hard to tell until we looked at the XP track just how productive it was. But just looking at that cash stack makes me feel like we had a productive day. We still got 243k in the bank, okay. Didn't even have all my cash on me. Let's have a look. 116,000 XP today. Alright, so even despite me doubting my own ability to hit things while having zero brain power, it turns out we can in fact hit things while having zero brain power. We also got 15k magic XP, so I didn't do too bad there. I feel like it's usually about 20k when I'm focused, so maybe a bit higher, like 22. But, you know, like... That's fine, I'm fine with that. 15k is respectable. Standard hunter and farmer, of course. We got our strength up to 68, just the one level gained, unfortunately. But we did get 67,000 experience in the process. So, a pretty solid day. We got 116.8k, and that is the number I'm going to be looking at to compare with tomorrow after... We have killed a rat a bunch of times. So, yeah. Oh, let's have a look in here as well, because there's some money in here. And some Aventur seeds. 4.8 mil. We are absolutely rolling in it at the minute, folks. I'm just going to tag those Aventur seeds into this tab, so that I don't forget about them tomorrow. And that is going to be it for me on this one. Hope everyone's still enjoying everything. I'm having a good time over here. As weird as today's episode probably was, that's just because I'm feeling a bit weird. But I hope everyone else is enjoying the weirdness and the chillness. We do have some grinding to go. As I said, tomorrow is going to be scurrious and then we can compare the two, figure out which one's actually best. But if it's one level a day, it's going to take me another week or so at least to get the levels I need and that's just the melee stats we still then could do with we can't use a dry until 75 magic so we could do with 75 magic really and I don't know how long that's going to take although I am excited to find out about it I don't know maybe two weeks it's day 45 at the minute I reckon by day 60 we'll probably be stepping into a raid an entry level raid that's my sort of prediction slash lucky goal i think that's a reasonable target to look at yeah so a couple weeks of grinding and then it's on to raids 
Hope y'all stick around for the party. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of it. Plus, while you're there, you may as well have a little smooch with the like button, you know. Send it all your love. And leave a comment down below if you feel like it. If that last comment from me didn't just put you off my videos entirely. Let me know if you think I can get to raids in 60 days. Or well, not in 60 days, by day 60. Yes. Brin, stop talking. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one. I need to log out too.